Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition where it has been weeks since I have played this game and I just got back from camping, um, which there was a video about that, you know, and everything and as far as I can tell, things went mostly okay, there are still some things I have to fix and comments I have to respond to, but overall I think it went okay, camping was, camping was okay as well, very different experience than I normally have, but it was still cool. I have no idea what we're doing right now. I do know, though, um, just like MC Punk was kind enough to give me a lot of tips on, like, how to use the crafting system and stuff, uh, Roro4066 gave me a lot of tips on how to be a really good archer assassin. Uh, so I do, there are a couple things I want to change with my point, the way my abilities are set up. Um, we have tons of inner circle stuff. Um... What are we doing right now? Okay, we're trying to get that. Okay. We really... Blah, blah. Okay. I, I still, like, I do need to do a stream sometimes so we can do the, the Watcher's Reach and the Emerald Graves and probably the, a little bit of the Western Approach stuff that we've already done, but in the 360 version, but not in the PC version. Um, but yes, first of all, I want to go down. Who needs ladders? Nobody needs ladders. Where am I? Oh, yes, I'm in the tower. Does that only say climb? Is there anything to read? Uh, it's been a freaking long time since I've played this game. And I like The Witcher, I do, but I am still just... Why, is it... What, did I notice this before, this floating sword? I'm hook, line, and sinker stuck in these... in this Dragon Age... in the Inquisition. I just can't get enough of it. I've got three other characters I'm playing as, or two other characters, I guess, that I'm playing as. Um, also, I know this isn't Mass Effect, but freaking heck, did you guys see that trailer? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to say, I did not think I would fall in love with the new ship. I was like, oh, nothing will ever beat the Normandy, and nothing ever will. But that, like, two-second glimpse you get of the new ship... Like, if you... I won't say anything. I'm not super fond of the name. I kind of prefer, like, the normal, like, ship naming, you know? Where it's, like, the the Washington or the Normandy or the... I don't know. Other names that just normally you call ships and stuff. And I won't spoil it for you if you don't want to hear it. But, oh my gosh! It's actually already the background on my phone. Like, I already got a picture of it and put it on the background of my phone. I, just to make myself very sad for the next several months until it comes out. And they confirmed the last name of the new main character, too. And it's one that I'd, I'd seen, had been, had been like, guessed at before because of the dog tags in the first trailer they ever released forever ago. Okay, that got weird for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, I figured it would. It's been forever since I've opened up any of this stuff. Um... But yeah, no, they confirmed the last name, which again, I won't spoil if you don't want to hear. Um, but they, it was, it was hinted at, there was a little clue on the dog tags in the, in the first trailer. Like if you zoomed up and let the dog tags, if you happen to notice them and you got like a screenshot and zoomed up on them, you could see a name there. And uh, they did confirm that that will be the, the, the last name. Because obviously it's not going to be Shepard anymore. Shepard had his or her time, and now it's on to somebody else. And I will, I guess I'll have to play some Mass Effect today just to get my thoughts out on it. But I really wanted to play some more Talon because I just have been neglecting him sorely. But, oh god, Talon, you're beautiful! Freaking, I forget how beautiful he is sometimes. I'm just freaking, he's just so handsome. He's so freaking handsome. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Like, as actually, as soon as I got into service, I noticed that one of the guys I follow on YouTube, um, he started, he, he uploads, uh, like, trailers, like, he gets, like, sponsored to upload trailers from E3, and I'd forgotten that, but I noticed one of his videos was, he had, like, several E3 trailers, and I was like, <gasps> so I started scrolling down, and as soon as I found the Mass Effect Andromeda one, I was like, ah! like, I just, oh my gosh, it was, ah. Uh... Oh, I can't wait. I just... Why can't it be next year? Uh, and when are they going to tell us about the new IP, huh? I want to hear about the new IP. want to hear about it. 
Okay, we haven't done... Okay, I don't need to go to the garden. Uh, but where do I... I want to go... I do want to go down here. Boop. Boop. Hey, Cassandra, don't mind me. Just gotta make sure it's not gonna freak you out over there in the corner. <laughs> Little computer. I really do like how they... Oh, yeah, I did, um... <laughs> I did Tevinter decor with my elven drapes and oh gall. I wish they gave you elven decor. Is there a mod for elven decor? Because freaking I will, I will download that. Like, I I'm very iffy on mods just because I don't like. I think they're fantastic and I wish I was more confident in using them. I'm just not very confident in using them. Come on, uh. oh, but also Roro mentioned that I should craft uh, the armor for my people, but I do have, um, I think I forgot this is what we have! <sighs> ah, he looks so freaking good! Uh, I believe every single one of my mages yeah, he has crafted, Solos has something crafted on, Vivian has something crafted on um, and Dorian of course does as well. What level is that? 17? Good golly. Uh, freaking, he looks great. Looks freaking great. Looks freaking great. I can't even handle it. I do, I should probably give him more, uh, what does he have? Let's see. He ha doesn't have any legs. I think the legs I didn't like. Or something. They were like the apprentice ones. Uh, we do have a ton of new accessories, though. Pretty sure. Whoa! Oh, right. Uh, can I put that on? Oh, I think I have, to, I have to put that on to do that, the Hesarian thing in the Storm Coast. That would make sense. I thought we had, like, a bunch more... Anyway, anyway, so that's, so I do have, my mages have crafted armor. Just because mage armor looks awesome. Let's see. So I have jar of bees and the Antivan fire. I don't know which one I've gotten more upgraded. Healing potion. I need five profits, Laurel. Okay. Regeneration potion. Okay. But we do, we have proximity heal, which is super incredibly useful. Tonics. I have everything except that one. And the, I have the electric one almost all the way up. Uh, Tears of the Dead. I could do increases damage. Cannot do duration. Shoot. Oh my gosh. I want to use these more. I do have the knockback one. The... Yeah. No, the, the stun. The, the chance to stun. Grenades. Healing Mist. Oh, that's right. Blah. The healing mist is the one that can restore unconscious party members. Uh, freaking Felandaris. There's like no way to get Felandaris right now. Although, at the the Halamshiral merchant, I wonder. You guys have probably told me some things already. I just haven't checked all the comments yet. But there's like a Halam Sheral, I think it's a Halam Sheral merchant, and I actually just did the Halam Sheral ball first with one of my other characters I'm playing with, and I didn't see a merchant there at the ball. But maybe it's something, or maybe it's somebody you get afterwards. Unless it's, I don't think it's one of the guys out in my courtyard, but it might be somebody you get out in your court courtyard. No, the bed is awesome, but we should probably change the decor because because uh, I do like the frostback basin one. 
I do like that one. Um, I, I don't think I've crafted many weapons for anybody. And I've got my new bow and my new armor. Even though it's not crafted, I freaking love it. Let's see. Um, my armor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do I have... I do have legs. I don't think there were any arms that I liked. Um... And, like, I don't even want to diet. Like, I think I pointed that out. I was like, freaking, it looks amazing. Like, as is. Like, it's it's beautiful. And the bow matches. Like, a, ah, I can't even handle it. I really can't. I'm, like, having a whore. I'm just like, ah. Okay. All right. We need to look at. We need to look at. Okay. So, according to Roro, I do need to get. Oh no, so wait, long shot, and I need to get full draw. And then the upgrade with one of those. I can get, they are knocked unconscious, or enemies hit by full draw are immobilized. Oh, I don't know which one's better. Immobilized for 5 seconds, or asleep for 20 seconds? But it's, I think the sleeping thing, like as soon as you whack them, they wake up. So, maybe I should do the immobilized one. Uh, but this is going to require some... And they did also mention poison, to get the poison weapons. I might not get that, uh, because at this point, my, my points are very... Like, I don't even have Cloak of Shadows yet. I have Mark of Death, but... Like, I feel like being a rogue, there's so many cool things you can do. And being an assassin also, it's just like there's so many things you can put your points into. And I really like the upgrades on all my bow abilities. Like, I, 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 they're great. And I would love, I need to get that one. If I'm going to be an archer assassin, I need to have all my, I need to have all my assassin abilities available to me. And all my archer abilities available to me. But I also need evade. I'm pretty sure evade. I mean, I guess I technically have leaping shot, which gets me out of the way. But, I mean, and you need sneak, obviously. So, maybe we will A nice, simple play. try... We'll try rearranging points and seeing how that goes. What do I have? The enhanced amulet of evasion. Okay. I won't, like, confirm any of them. I'll just, uh, kind of pick and choose. I guess for now I won't... Yeah, that's the success. I thought it was like increasing like how much focus you got, but that's just successfully performing an ability combo. Like it's like eh, you know. So sneak obviously, and we'll get. Oh. Yeah, we'll get. Oh wait, shoot! I wasn't gonna. Okay, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna actually apply, but yeah, we'll get those. Um, and we will get. These, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, no, we will, and then, I, I need, that's, I mean, that's cool, ugh, shrapnel from, I do like that upgrade, we'll knock down its target, and I, I do like having the stealth available to me at all times, Full dry. Also, we should we should probably upgrade. But first, I'm gonna look at hidden blades, cloak of shadows, and mark of death. Whew. Okay. Um. Let's check. Oh. Uh. I was going to try to check my attributes, but I guess not. Hmm. 
All right, so that's basically gives us it gives us the upgrades that we're used to on the shrapnel. What did I did I I don't think I had I didn't have this one upgraded. I should probably get it upgraded soon, and I really should get that one too. So we have all the upgrades that we're used to, except we don't have evade anymore. And I really, really like evade a lot, and I don't have poison. So difficult, so difficult. Maybe, because I, cause I do, the only reason I'm okay with not getting evade right at this second is that I do have leaping shot. And I still have it upgraded. Um, so there's that. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's try this. I'll need, I'll keep in mind that I should get poison weapons soon because I have the potion I can use the tears to do poison damage. And I but I need to be able to use. Cloak of Shadows, Mark of Death, Hidden Blades. Or maybe, do you think I don't need Cloak of Shadows yet? Uh. Oh man, this is difficult. Alright, maybe I won't, because I don't think they said anything about Cloak of Shadows. They just said, um, Hidden Blades, which I have, Long Shot and everything. Okay, so maybe right now, I won't get Cloak of Shadows, but I will get Evade again. Wow, that was so loud! Do I have all the abilities? I don't know if I do. I might. I don't. Evade's not on there. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, Crackle Pop. All right, this is going to take some rearranging. All right, so Evade I want there. Um, Sneak I want... Oh, wait, no, okay. First, we'll go to the... The one that was taken away. Long shot. I think I had long shot in the back. Yeah. And then I will put sneak there and put leaping shot back over here. It might have been flipped because I had the shrapnel one over on the right side. Uh, yeah, I think I'll put it there. And then... Oh, this is tough. Oh, this is so tough. Well, where to put my shrapnel a bit? No, wait, no, I have the shrapnel one. Where to put a long draw, you know? This is so lame that we can't use all the abilities. I didn't even think about that. I probably wasted a... I could have... And then I still need to get Cloak of Shadows and Poison. Like... This is ridiculous. Evade is pretty important, though. I don't know. Maybe we should try playing without Evade. I'm putting... Um... Putting... Hidden Blades... Here and then putting uh, full draw there, right? Okay, 
So that's Hidden Blades, Sneak, Leaping Shot, Shrapnel, Mark of Death, Bull Draw, uh, Long Shot, and Mark of the Rift. Okay. I think that's going to be alright. Oh, man. Now I should... See, I was trying to think all... I was trying to think of, of, of my team configuration because I need to start bringing out consistently the same people. And I was just having a hard time because I actually think a fun group to bring out would be... Like, a fun group would be uh, Dorian, Sarah, and Cassandra. Um... For talent, like I'm trying to think of like who Talon would want to bring, and stuff. Um, but I think Talon would also want to bring Cole and Iron Bull. But I'm not sure if Cole, Iron Bull, and Dorian are a good. Like I, I constantly just kind of feel a bit like, eh, like it's not quite meshing well. And I, I mean, I could bring out, I could just switch out Cassandra and Iron Bull sometimes, and I feel like Cassandra and Cole and Dorian would be a good group too. Like, that one, for some reason, fits better in my head. And I'm not, I'm honestly not sure if it's because of, like, looks. Like, I don't know if I just feel like Iron Bull unbalances the team because he's so big. It could just be aesthetics. Like, I don't, I'm not quite sure if that's the way I'm thinking about this. Uh, but it was never a problem with my first Inquisitor. The problem was Iron Bull died all the time, and so did Cole. And I just stopped bringing them out as much because I, it's just like, why... But, I don't know, I feel like conversation-wise, Dorian and Iron Bull and Cole would be a good team to have, too. So, I just, I think I, what I kind of want to do is maybe bring out Dorian and Cole for sure, and then switch out Cassandra and Iron Bull every so often, and see how that goes. So if that's the case, then um, and again, I don't I probably don't have enough materials to be making everybody's stuff. But let's see. Oh, I wish that was not the first thing that you landed on. It's so dumb looking. Okay, hold up. Uh, let's make sure that Dorian does not. Like we don't have. Did he need arms or legs? No, he needed legs. And we only have apprentice ones, and I don't really like the way those look. I like the way his one, his current one looks. Um, yeah. But, okay, so if we're going to be bringing a... Oh, but uh, who else? Um, wait, let's check inventory. Uh, I believe Iron Bull has really freaking good armor on right now. It's not crafted, but it's really good. And they're my armor. I love that armor too. I'm just like, ugh, it's so difficult. Um, Cassandra doesn't have crafted armor, but it's really freaking good armor, which she does have on. Um, or maybe it's not. It's not as great. So let's see. Wait, where did Iron Bull go? Iron Bull. He's got 122, and Cassandra's got 136. I just really like the upgrades on his. They look really cool. He looks really good. Um, and Dorian, at this point, is basically good to go. Cole. What does Cole have? And, okay, forget, I'd love to bring Solus out more, right? Like, But I just feel like it wouldn't be fair since I brought him out so much before, and I'm planning on bringing him out a lot next time too with with my with Erica when I play Erica again. Oh, that's right. So, his is only 99. Do I I mean, I gave him I gave him some arm armament armor, I don't know. Um Let's see. Maybe coal sturdy hunter mail. Wow, yeah. Uh well, let's see. Cool. Looks like that's probably the best, besides the enhanced Avar armor, which we aren't going to do. Ooh, that looks really cool, too. All right, Cole, let's make you something if I freaking... <laughs> I might not have enough. So, tier two. We could do tier two. Two... Two... 
Oh my gosh, I'm out of Snoofler skin. Uh, okay, let's do tier two for now and see how that goes, I guess. Um, do I have, I think I have more. Yeah, I have more of this. And then, plus 12 cold resistance. Uh, tier 3, craggy skin, but that's plus range defense, so it's meh to me. Great bear hide. No, we're keeping that for dying. For, for dying of the cloth. Um, Phoenix skills. See, some of them just like meh. Thunder when hit. I prefer the I prefer the elemental resistances. That's just me though. So we could do fire resistance or well, I don't have much of that left, so maybe fire resistance. Heal bonus. Could do spirit resistance. That would probably be good. I have high ever weave again? Oh my gosh. Could do a 10% heal bonus. Electrical resistance. Ooh, shoot. Look at that. Electrical resistance. Um, I think I'm going to do spirit resistance. Yeah. And then... No, you cannot have that. <laughs> Increase maximum stamina, dropping caltrops, walking bomb. Ooh, oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. uh. I was gonna save that for my mages when I made them new armor, specifically probably Dorian or myself. There's two different kinds of fate touched paragons, Lester. It could do that one. 10% chance to use hidden blades. That's pretty good. I mean, that's 1 out of 10 hits. You know what I mean? Uh. Oh, I like that color. I like, wow. Uh, iron bark. I do have a lot of iron bark. Um, let's do... Because, I, I mean, coal dies a lot. You know? For me. I mean, he hasn't been doing too bad this time around. But, in the Fade Touched Obsidian, like, pretty sure that's what dyes your cloth black. But it might just be the Great Bear Hide. I guess it dyes your metal black, but not all of it sometimes. I don't know. I guess it just, I was, I was messing with it on the Dalish armor, which doesn't change very much. But it's not changing very much on this either, you know? Hmm. And again, this is only tier... I mean, it's tier 2 Fade Touch Subsidian. So when they start getting tier 3 stuff, like when I open up areas, like um, when I can eventually go to the the Frostback Basin and the Empries, um, that's when I'll be getting the stuff. But if I open up the Empries first... No, did I... I think I already did actually open up the Empries. I'm just not quite high enough level to feasibly go there. Because the Silver Rise the one that gives you on hit gain 5 guard. But... Oh, man. This is difficult. Because I think I used all tier 2 stuff on this armor for him. And 145 might even be higher than the armor I've got on right now. It's not higher than my Dalish armor, but that's because it's a warrior armor. Ah, mm. oh, what the heck. Whew. Fade Walker. I like that. Maybe we'll call him Fade Walker. Just Fade Walker. Oh, no, I didn't want you to delete the whole thing. Because he is. Uh, Fade Walker Hunter Mail. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's... 
give that to him. Coal, coal, coal. Opa. And we'll take off the... Oh, that's right. It's the royal... I just used royal sea silk to, like, dye that one, too. Oh, well. <laughs> well, let's go take off the... Um... Not me. I guess... Okay, it doesn't really matter. Hunter coat. Let's take off... What? I have that, too. Take those off. No, wait. Empty. Okay, yes. Confirm changes. Cole. What are you wearing, Cole? Fade Walker Hunter Mail. We'll put on... Oh, okay. Um, 26 cold resistance total or upping his fire resistance and his cold resistance. Shoot. Um, and I, I don't really like the way this one, the, uh, this one looks. I like this one better, I think. It's not showing it now, but I think I do like this one better. And I'm not giving you guys any sigils. <laughs> Oh, cool. That looks pretty cool. Let's see what Sarah looks like in that armor. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous! And it's a little bit better than the one she's got on now! Holy crap. And we could, I mean, we could put these on her. Oh, freaking Sarah gets the best armor, I think. Honestly. Look at that. She's got that little, little gloves. Oh my gosh. And look at her whole arm is like exposed. Like freeing. Sarah looks. Sarah, I honestly think Sarah gets the best armor in the game. There's a. There's a. There's a, there's a scout armor you pick up from a dragon in the Empress. And she looked so freaking good in that. I was. I was so jealous. So jealous. Put that on her. I guess we can toss that. All right, good. We've got Sarah equipped in some freaking sexy armor. Cole is equipped in some freaking sexy armor. Fade Walker Hunter Mail. We should dye it, maybe. I like the August Ram leather, but... All right, let's go make sure we get his done. Tinting armor for coal. What is that? Oh, nice. What color was it? Oh, yeah, it's the black. Of Probably just leave that. Cloth. Where's the freaking... Ah! It really does look very good on him. Although I do like to put him in dark colors, too. He just looks really good in dark colors. Oh, we want to keep the August Ram leather, I think. Maybe we'll do this one. Royal Sea Silk. And maybe the other one. A Darkened Samite? Or... It's too bad none of that's leather, apparently. I mean, maybe we won't do royal sea silk. Samite. Darkened Samite. I think the Samite is almost darker. It's kind of bluer, I guess. I always thought coal looked good in silk. Plush fristine velvet. Interesting. Darkened Samite. I mean, right now, I think it's actually already dark in Samite, so maybe we'll just make Royal Sea Silk. Whoa! Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. I want to do empty. Empty. And then, I was like, that's a ton of Royal Sea Silk! I think he looks good in it. I think anybody would look good in it, to be honest, but... Maybe we'll do the... Ooh, I do think I actually like that better. 
Then the blue, or the fennec. I kind of like the fennec. Quill back leather. But the August Ram looks nice. We could just do bear hide and it would match his actual leather that you can't change the color of, which is weird. But I do like the August, so we'll keep it. We'll keep it for now. Okay. Um, so there's coal. Let's see if we have anything for Cassandra. I think the best armor I have for warriors is not my favorite on... Ooh. I think I, I... Did I give... No! There's an armor, though, in the Western Approach that I really, really like. I went with one of my other characters, I went to go get it. It's a, it's a Battlemaster armor near the mines. Oh my gosh, Battlemaster coat arms. Holy crap, those are good. So, wow, I need to get her some of those. All right, well, maybe let's go to the... Oh, and it, like, turns... Yeah, that's right, it turns her, turns her pants stripey. Let's go get that other Masterwork armor for her and see how that goes. And who... Maybe, should I, should I look at Dorian's staff? So he's got an ice archmage staff that gets 76, which is in 47 cold damage. Seventy-six, forty-seven cold damage. I don't have a staff that beats it. It looks like. I think. I think anyway. And I. I don't know though if. Dorian has, I don't think he's got any of these on his staff. What does this entail again? Willpower and magic. Could do that. Yeah, let's do that. And then armor penetration. I think, I think magic bypasses armor, so it doesn't really matter. Stagger or, ooh, guard damage bonus though. Oh my gosh, I still have some silverite. 4% guard damage. 6 star damage. That's volcanic arum, though. Let's leave that. Imbued resolute grip. Uh. I don't know. Uh. Guard damage. Magic willpower. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just yes. I prefer when they actually kind of correspond to what you you think is you know kind of what's happening to what they what they do. So he has the Archmage Ice Staff. Oh, I already had like grips and stuff. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay, it doesn't change it too much. Oh, that eye staff looks totally rad, though. And then staff blade. Oh, wow. Plus seven constitution. Superior enchanter staff blade. Aye! Oh, and I could give him a freaking rune? Oh, man. <gasps> oh, man. The corrupting runes. All right, so I made that corrupting rune. Oh, but it kind of messes with the ice. I, I like the way the ice looks. Yeah, I mean, if I did something, it would probably be like a cleansing rune or something. This is damage versus the living. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just, well... It would be handy to have. But, but, no. <laughs> Confirm changes. There you go, Dorian. Let's see. Do I have anything for... 
pull. He has the card of fame, which has a cleansing rune and an edgy dagger, edgy dagger grip. Audacity doesn't have 20 AoE damage. Okay. I know it might be wasting it because these daggers are kind of old. But maybe, well, maybe, I mean, maybe I should craft coal, at least one new dagger. Pointed dual blade. Oh my freaking gosh. And I got the rib splitter one. Oh my gosh. It's even better. Oh my gosh. Do I even have enough to make this thing? Tier three. Oh my gosh. I have enough ever right. Ha. Ha. Well, uh, I think that's my only... Oh, no, freaking could make Navarre. I'd make it out of Navarrite, too. Which makes it kind of purple. Everite just kind of makes it silvery. Sort of, looks like. Oh, man, I don't I might have to go with the purple. I don't have enough... Uh, that would be cool. Okay, time to go with Navarrite, because freaking it's a purple dagger. Who doesn't want a purple dagger? Six, it says tier 3, but only a 6% attack. I'm like, eh. 6% stagger on hit. That's cool. Gar I'd rather have guard damage bonus, to be completely honest with you. Oh, that's tempting, but no. I'm gonna go with Pyre Fight. And then... Does that change anything? Like, not, the, not changing any of the color. Well, I kind of want to change the handle because the purple doesn't look good with that. <laughs> Maybe I can make a new handle. Uh, do I have any tier th craggy skin? It's plus six cunning. I think he does need cunning. Yeah, I might have to do that. Tier three, no. Not, cannot have my great bear hide. Could do snoofler skin. That's dexterity. No, let's do cunning. Craggy skin. And then 5% heal on kill. Do I have any? Oh, I do. Look at that. That's 6% attack. That's cool. 5% heal on kill. 8% barrier damage. No, let's do a heal on kill. Hmm. Yeah, let's do Lustrous Cotton. And then... What the heck? I don't even... No! Oh my gosh, yeah! I'm not freaking changing the color. Not on your life. I don't think I have any Fade Touched Velvets. Or any Fade Touched, um... Leathers. I don't. Look at that. Just cloth and metal. Need to go hunting more. Um, okay. Increase man with a stagger. 100% or 10% chance to drop cow traps. Or 10% chance. Okay. Block, walking bomb. Heal 20% of damage taken over 10 seconds. 5% chance to use. I might actually give him that one. To use hidden blades. I mean, I could use Iron Bark, too, because that, I could just kind of, because it's like, you know, eh, whatever, but since this is a Tier 3, like, damaged weapon, I think I'll give him the Hidden Blades. Well, Shrewd Healing Dirt. No, let's name it, um... Uh... I, mean, I kind of want to name it Compassion, but I don't know. You know, I think that's like so cheesy. Let's call it uh, Pearl of Pain. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Let's, um, can we... Oh, no, we got to add... We want to add a Corrupting Rune to it. We have to go to here. Pearl of Pain. I need to get a new grip for it. Oh, it already... I mean, it looks... Oh, no, no, there it is. But I don't want to do it over again. No. No. 
No. I mean, it looks cool, but no. I mean, I mean, I could, I could always change it, and I've got three corrupting runes. It doesn't look as cool. No. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. But I, I do actually want to go maybe do a grip. Craft weapon. Grip, 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 grip. Balance dagger grip. Balance dagger. Oh, that's a tier two right there. Both of those are. But is that only for the dual blade or what? Balance dual blade grip and firm dual blade grip. I think that might only work on the dual blades, so I'm gonna go with this. Armor penetration, 2% stagger, 4% armor penetration. Armor penetration might be good, though. Or we could just do a guard damage bonus again and kind of make it more. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do a uh, summer stone. And... Could do a flanking damage bonus or a critical damage bonus. That would be good. Oh, upping the critical chance. Ooh. Ooh, great bear hide, though. Critical damage bonus. No, critical damage bonus. Flanking damage. Critical damage. Oh, okay. Um, flanking damage. Flanking damage. Critical damage. Let's... Can we get the... Critical chance. I mean, it's only 4%, you know? Anything below 5, I'm kind of like, eh, eh. <sighs> Flanking damage bonus. I've only got two of those. Flanking damage bonus. I got two of those left. Could do that. But, um, uh, just. Uh, let's just do that. Sure. Wapow, wapow. I haven't given them to him yet, so I can still mess with them on my name. Oh, I like it. I wish I could kind of change the color of the handle, but oh well. Okay, cool. You get a new dagger. I haven't given you any new ones because I like the ones you have, but 117. Ugh, but look at that. Nah. I really like audacity. Oh well. Oh, but now he doesn't have an AOE dagger. He just has direct. That's okay, though. I think it's okay. <laughs> 76. I mean... No. And it's even... No. No. I could get a firm dual dagger grip from it, though. I don't think I might not actually be able to remove that. Uh, we'll store it for now, just in case. Just in case. Um, in inventory. Deposit. Okay. Did I give it to him? I did. Okay, so he's got a new dagger. Dorian's got some additions to his staff. And we'll be bringing Cassandra, but we're going to be going to get her some rad new armor. Let's see if her weapons are up to par. 
She does have the axe of green edges, which is really good. Could I make her? Wait, let's see. Axe of green edges. It's Cassandra. Cassandra. 116 damage. She's got poison, too. She worked really well with the rope. Her and Sarah, too, I feel like. Like, I might switch out Sarah and Cole sometimes. Um. No, not armor. Weapon. Do I, what do I have for sword and shield? Masterwork and scribed axe. Well, it's basically the same thing. I mean, it's cool, but it bas it looks like the Axe of Green Edges, and it's got about the same damage, it looks like. Okay. Well, that was a long time in here. Let's go save. Jeez. What, what did I... I don't know what I did. Oh, I see now. Okay. Well, I have so many of these, like, jeez. Let's save over that one. <laughs>